guys, it's Lita. So I have people messaging me all the time about difficult times that they're dealing with and they all seem to have one thing in common. Most every message I get includes I feel so alone or nobody understands me. So I decided to make a video to help you guys see that you really aren't alone and there are people in this world who will understand you, you just have to be open to finding them. So when I was really young in elementary school, I had pretty much no friends People would make fun of me every single day. And honestly, if things like this happen to you, just show those people that you aren't going to take their shit. Stand up for yourself. You can do it. You don't have to be mean about it, though. I made that mistake many times trying to stand up for myself. I was just mean to them, too. You don't have to be mean to them in return for them being mean to you. It's like my favorite quote from Buddha. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. At the end of 7th grade, uh, this one boy made fun of me so much for being overweight that uh, I fell into a very severe eating disorder for a while. And I lost over 40 pounds in a little bit less than two months. And really, I see girls who follow me all the time who talk about how they want tiny legs, tiny stomachs, thin faces, you know, bones showing. But think about this. You are beautiful if you say you're beautiful. Size doesn't define beauty and it never has and it never should. Appearance standards today should have never ever distorted weight in the way that it has. Please just listen to no one's opinions but your own. Try to see yourself as beautiful because honestly I know how it feels, it's really hard to, but really really try. I mean, I for one am not a twig. Completely not, and I still have people commenting to me that I'm fat all the time. I'm not fat! There! I said it! And people telling me that I used to be so much skinnier? Yes. Your point? I'm not gonna sacrifice food and things that I like to have a body that society wants me to have. Pizza is too delicious. Now into 8th grade, after I lost weight, people actually hated me more. They hated me for changing, and they made fun of me more so than they had before. There honestly really is no way to win in middle school when it comes to people teasing you and talking behind your back. Just expect this. Middle school will smack the hell out of you. So, when I was in 8th grade, I got into giving myself eraser burns on my hands and my arms. Which is potentially the closest that I can relate to when people ask me for advice on self-harm. And all that I can tell you is... Now that I'm five years older, uh, in no way, shape, or form did my methods of self-harm ever positively benefit me. And that's actually how I started painting. I decided to take out my stress and pain on something less harmful. Painting's not harmful at all. Now comes ninth grade, when I was 14 years old. This was my most destructive and rebellious year in my entire life so far. And I've had so many people message me asking for advice on some of the things I experienced that year. At the beginning of the ninth grade year, I hung out with a group of people who got me into some really, really bad things. And since my dad worked at my high school, he saw all of this happening firsthand and he eventually confronted me, um, telling me that it wasn't okay what I was doing and that it really needed to stop. And I hated him for that. I hated him most of that entire year and I did things to him emotionally and on purpose too that are completely unspeakable and actually make me really really sad to think about because he doesn't deserve it. And I didn't realize back then that he was just trying to help me and he was doing it for my own benefit. You know, he wasn't doing it because he wanted me to be a certain way, he was trying to help me out. And since then my dad has gone from my worst enemy to my mentor, my savior, and my best friend. So when your parents intervene and try to get you to stop doing something or warn you about something that you are getting into, chances are they know what they're talking about. And they're probably doing it only because they love you and they will do anything to keep you protected. Back to when I was 14, the middle of the year was where I really, really started going downhill. I met this guy at a mall who was four years older than me and he and I flew into a relationship it was quite serious way too quickly and god he ruined me when i was with him he hurt me in so many different and unforgivable ways but he also convinced me that he was the best that i would ever get and that if i didn't have him i would be nothing and i would be worthless he pressured me into doing drugs nothing crazy but they were still drugs um and into starting to smoke cigarettes 
He told me I was too fat and that I needed to be skinny, and he told me that I needed to be famous. But I can honestly say that I learned more from that relationship than I have more in my entire life. So girls and boys, if you're in a relationship kind of like this and you haven't acknowledged these signs before, get out. And I don't wish for any of you to ever, ever have to experience something like that. As for the drugs and smoking cigarettes, um, which I also get messages about sometimes asking for advice on how to get out of that, I did get out of the drugs rather quickly, being about two months. And I haven't done them since, but all I can say really is I know that they affect everyone differently, but when it comes to doing really, really gnarly drugs, please, please be careful. It's your choice, but just be very careful. And as for the smoking of cigarettes, the best is just never, ever start. I swear, if I could go back in time and change one thing, it would be to not start smoking cigarettes. I can proudly say that even though it was a long stretch, I did finally quit last May, in May 2012. Um, and I'm so proud of myself. It took such a long time. It was a super long journey and it was really, really hard because after a while it becomes really hard and, you know, you need to smoke when you wake up, when you're making breakfast, when you're walking to school, uh, before school, lunch break, snack break, when you're stressed, when you're tired, when you're hungry, when you're taking a dump, when you're playing Skyrim, when you're on a roller coaster at Disneyland. It's, it's like you always need one. It's the hardest trap to get out of, and I'm super, super proud of myself for actually getting out of it. But for those of you watching this, just please don't start if you haven't already. It's the best feeling stopping. I only want what's best for you guys, and I just want you to know that you're not alone. I know the world is scary, but you're not the only one who's afraid. If you were to just go outside and look at every single person passing by, Study each person and try to see yourself in them and vice versa. The person sitting next to you on the bus or the person who sits beside you on the first day of school is just as afraid of you as you are of them. And who says that they aren't going through some of the same things you are? Who says they won't understand you? I love you guys all so much and I'm going to be making another video pretty soon um, that's similar to this one and also similar to my older video, Wish, on trying to find yourself because uh, that's also something that people have been asking me to make a video about and that I've been meaning to make a video about, so that'll be coming soon. Please everyone, just stay strong. Remember, I love you, and remember to smile, and don't be afraid.